Greetings friends and welcome to Project Gemini update number 16. So this is going to be a quick one again. Um, mainly the reason why I want to talk to you guys tonight is because um, I'm pleased to announce that I now have an official website for Project Gemini, uh, which is just simply www.projectgemini.com. Project Gemini being all one word, spelt the band way. Uh, big thank you goes out to Julian Gill the mastermind at KISS FAQ and probably the greatest musical author of our time right now who has written more books than I could think of uh, on many different things, not only KISS. So uh, not only is he a great writer, but he's also a very good website maker. And I thank you very much for your help in making my website, which is very easy to follow. And I'm sure will be very handy for things to come in the very near future. Speaking of Project Gemini, we are getting near to the end. If you haven't bought it yet, I keep telling you, get it. I only made 250. There will not be any more made. I am now concentrating my efforts on the vinyl version of this. And I'm also putting aside 50 of these to take with me to a little something called the Nashville Rock and Pod Expo, which will be going on in August. I believe it's August 25th, the weekend of that. Uh, yeah, the weekend of August 25th, I believe it is. So I'll be bringing some along there to sell. And uh, if you're going to be at this convention, which I would highly recommend to go. There is going to be every possible podcast in existence in one building. You can meet all of us, get your pictures taken, whatever you want, get things signed. I mean, Julian Gill's going to be there. If you have one of his books, what a great chance to bring it along and get him to sign it. You're not going to get that chance very often. So, um, yeah, so website is up. On the website, there is going to be there is a page there that's for giveaways. I do plan on doing some giveaways um, later on in the year. Um, also, the process for the vinyl is going nicely. I've been in contact with Lacquer Channel. Unfortunately, I found out though that George Graves has now retired from the record business. Damn, I was a little too slow, I guess. If I would have maybe did this a little while earlier, maybe I might have might have had a chance, but whatever. They have a very competent guy who does lacquer cutting there, so I have no fear. Lacquer Channel is a very reputable place, so it's going to sound awesome regardless. So this week, extremely busy week. Posters, t-shirts, all these things. I vow to get down to the bottom of um, how much it's going to cost. Also, uh, the 20... Let me see... I think there was 25 people who got in on the pre-order uh, and then obviously there's a bunch of you after that but the first 25 people I put on a special list and those 25 people will be getting some stuff from me eventually I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because I want to get it done first so uh, hang in there um, something will be coming your way in the near future so um, yeah the vinyl working on that posters t-shirts I keep feeling that there's something else I should be telling you about but it's just not clicking in my head right now but also if you haven't subscribed to this channel I mention it every time and it seems to be working because every time I do mention it somebody subscribes so if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do so it is very helpful oh yes the album you can now officially buy on Bandcamp as well. It is now on the Bandcamp merch site. So if you haven't bought it and want to buy it through Bandcamp instead of through me, I don't know if some people might just be like that. You can now buy it for the exact same cost, $10 plus shipping. And the breakdown of the shipping cost is there for you to see in all its glory. So uh, I had an interesting day today. We had a record uh, show today here in Mississauga and probably spent a little bit more than I should have uh, but 
In return, I got some very nice Japanese pressings of some Rush records, David Bowie, uh, One Kiss record, and I found a bunch of other albums that I was looking for. I finally got Ultimate Sin on vinyl from Ozzy, one of my favorite Ozzy Osbourne records. Um, I also got uh, the second Gentle Giant Acquiring the Taste on vinyl, which I'm very happy about. I've been looking that for that for a while. But uh, yeah, I also got a nice Japanese pressing of David Bowie's pinups. I know that most people kind of give that the big old thumbs down, but I really like that album. I don't know why. I got five different variations of that record. Out of his whole catalog, that album I had the most variations of. You would have think it would be maybe Ziggy Stardust or Aladdin Saint, but no, it's that one followed by the second record, uh, David Bowie or Space Oddity, whichever you'd want to call it. So, before I keep rambling on, I'll just leave it at that. So, new website is up. Please check it out. Um, vinyl is being worked on. Posters, t-shirts, everything else. You will hear about it this week because as of Monday, I will be hitting everybody hard for information on cost and so on and so forth. So, thank you for your time. And uh, once again... Uh, subscribe if you haven't done it yet and don't forget to buy this they will be running out and who knows maybe they will be quite the collector item so until next time my friends this is mark anthony k saying bye for now i hope you had a great weekend <laughs>